Namaste everyone, this is Dr. Hema Embar from Daily Arogya. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a very important concept which is unique to Ayurveda. The importance of wrong food combinations. It is called Viruddha Ahara, which means incompatible foods. Now these include combining foods with opposite qualities, eating foods that are not properly cooked, mixing foods in improper proportions, consuming certain foods at the wrong times of the day, eating non-seasonal foods, so on and so forth. Now frequent combination and consumption of these kind of foods does affect the agni and hamper the digestion and metabolism thereby causing a wide variety of illnesses later on. In our body, the Agni and the functional energies maintain our health. They have their own style of functioning to keep everything working optimally. So any imbalance in the Agni or the functional energies can make them go out of whack easily and cause more problems. Now, Viruddha Ahara is one of the most important causes for allergies, metabolic problems, hormonal issues, autoimmune problems that we see here these days very commonly. Now, some of the examples of Viruddha Ahara are eating dry foods in dry climates, oily foods in wet climates, Intake of cold items in winter, spicy items in summer. Intake of heavy foods when the Agni is weak. Intake of equal quantities of ghee and honey together. Having yogurt at night instead of buttermilk, which is more lighter to digest. Eating sweets at the end of a meal. It is always good to have sweets at the start of a meal when the Agni is more active. Now, combining hot potency items with cold potency items, mixing sour items with milk, eating foods that are not properly stored, processed or cooked, intake of ice cold water or eating foods cold from the fridge, eating ready to heat and eat foods, now, eating in public places is also considered a viruddha ahara. Remember, eating is to be considered like a ritual. Sit and eat in a very calm and quiet place where you can enjoy your food without multitasking. Now, these were certain examples that we commonly see these days. Now, Ayurveda says, do everything in moderation. We have discussed certain important food guidelines so far. Now these guidelines have been mentioned in the traditional Ayurvedic texts written by great Ayurveda Acharyas who have studied, observed and practiced healthy living. In today's fast moving life, things may seem impossible or hard to implement. You don't have to be hard on yourself to be healthy. We need to be more mindful and make healthy choices. That is very practical to us. So this comes to the end of today's session on wrong food combinations. See you tomorrow with more on food guidelines. Thank you. Namaste.